welcome to Bezin Tech Channel, helping you start with your Linux, ethical hacking and programming career with any device as little as your smartphone and an internet connection. On this channel, we upload programming videos, Linux operating system videos, helpful technical tricks and tutorial videos just like this. So if you're new to this channel and interested in these topics, please consider subscribing. Since there is no stable community working on Exagear anymore, it doesn't support the latest version of most of the graphics softwares out there today. Since Blender is a graphics software, to avoid any errors on my phone or yours, I decided to install the older version of Blender. To do this, open up your browser and type index of Blender 32 bits. And I'm going to be pasting this link in the description below also. So, um... For this video, I'm going to be installing Blender 2.30, which is a release that was made in, I think, about 2003. Wow, that is very, very old. Uh, you could try maybe the 2019 or 2020 Blender. Just for the, the purpose of this video, I installed Blender 2.3. So to simply download it, just click on any version of the Blender you want to download and make sure you locate the Windows version, all right? So... Um, as you can see, Blender 2.30 window.exe. So you're just going to click on it and the download should begin immediately. Now remember that every file you want to work on on Exagear should be stored in your downloads folder. Do not forget so that you can easily access them. Now this is by default saved in my download folder, but let me just show you so that you see. Okay. Uh, let me go to my files, okay. Let's open up files. And um. Let me go to my internal storage. Downloads. And as you can see right there, Blender 2.30 Windows.exe downloaded just now. So um, I'm going to launch Ezage now. And um, of course, you're going to click on Manage Containers and you're going to run your Explorer. So I'm just going to run Explorer now. And this will take a little bit of time to start up um so i sped up the process all right now you're going to click on start to open your folder of course to open your your exact here folder you're going to click on start and you're going to click on run okay you're going to click on run so click on start and click on run now in the new window that pops up you want to type explorer as you can see explorer is already on my page so i'm just going to click on ok but you're going to type explorer to open up your file manager and um the file manager should come up soon so you're going to go to you're going to locate your drive d in the computer drive so i'm going to click on my computer now um let me shift this to the middle and zoom in so that we can all see this so you're going to click on my computer my computer all right and you're going to to open the drive d which is the download drive and you're going to locate that blender.exe file as you can see right here blender.exe blender2.3.exe yeah that is it right there so you're just going to double click on that and um yeah the installation should begin you're going to click on next next Agree to the terms and condition, of course, and um, you're going to click on install. So, and that is just about it. It should take a little bit of time and the installation should be completed in a few minutes. So, once the installation is complete, you can just launch your, your app immediately to test it out. So, um, as you can see, Blender 2.30 has been installed. So, now you can, you know, work on your projects and, you know, your 3D designs. And um, as you can see, Everything is functioning perfectly well, okay? You can basically do anything you can do on your PC using Blender on your Android phone. So, um, though there are other ways of installing Blender, this is just one of few, okay? So, um, I hope you like this video. And if you encountered any problem while trying to, you know, install Blender, you should let me know in the comment section below and um, I'll correct you if I can, okay? So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and um, see you in the next video. Goodbye.